Surprise, surprise. Uber, the app that turns ordinary people into freelance taxi cab drivers by setting them up with somebody in their area who is looking for a ride to a similar location, enabling them to pay through the app, bypassing traditional taxi cab services, uh, has come under fire for not only just tracking the position, the locations, the personal habits of the riders, and the users, but also trying to dig up dirt on journalists who are critical of the app. Why would a journalist be critical of the app? Well, because a lot of taxi cab services and unions obviously furious because people are bypassing the traditional taxi cab service, coordinating rides with the app, which again, people just pay through the app and they find somebody who uses their own vehicle who's going somewhere and wants to make a few extra bucks and so they can just go a few extra blocks and pick up somebody in the area who they coordinate a ride with on the app but then uber is tracking the people who are using it and where they're going and one manager said that he was trying to dig up dirt on journalists who were critical of the service but this pales in comparison to the nsa's ability with their love int Super cyber stalking technology. Love Int means love intelligence, where NSA employees and their contractors, obviously, with common sense, reveals this, and Edward Snowden and others have confirmed that they use their unprecedented administrative access and uh, just NSA spying tools to cyber stalk and hack into the personal lives of their love interests, their crushes, and of course, women who turn them down, <laughs> who rebuff them because they're such losers that they just can't get a date, so they go and pry into their personal lives, of course, easily accessing their personal information, their phones, their emails, their Facebook pages, their iCloud account, their Google Drive account, etc., etc., just enabling them to peruse through the personal photographs voicemail messages, emails, uh, etc., of the target of their cyber stalking. Many people now, finally, some people at least, becoming aware of the dangers of just pouring your personal lives out onto cyberspace. Remember back in the day when Facebook, uh, when everybody had their, their uh, profile set to public? And now everybody started to realize, oh, oh well, yeah, I guess uh, bad things can happen when you do that sort of thing. And so now it's kind of common practice to have uh, people's Facebook pages set to private. But now, here's an article in the New York Times, toning down the tweets just in case colleges pry. It's got to be stunning to see the access of information that college recruiters and uh, approved uh, acceptance committees have. Just finding a bunch of degenerate selfies and just scumbags uh, in the information they've posted publicly on the internet for the world to consume in their quest to fuel their ego to become a famous social media celebrity themselves. But that's a whole other issue. So once again, a popular app, this time Uber, tracking the personal habits of people to blackmail them or to frame them, to shame them. Uh, but again, Ashton Kutcher, an early investor in the company, just doesn't see anything wrong with that. And let's dig up some dirt on those shady journalists. Let's cyberstalk them and shame them. Let's ruin their lives. Uh, as the Orwellian nightmare continues to uh, unfold and the ramifications continue to echo through cyberspace.